Hey hey, welcome to this tutorial on Unix tools. We'll be talking about BC. It's what is BC? Well, BC stands for Basic Calculator. Okay, it's a, a command line tool uh, for uh, Unix like systems and it allows for arbitrary precision arithmetic, which means you can work with numbers as big as you want. Uh, or as you can handle with your RAM and then it allows you for interactive non-interactive modes we'll get to that in a second uh, it allows you for scripting and it allows you for um, well <laughs> it's part of a POSIX standard so it means it, it can be it's available on any kind of server or any kind of uh, uh, Unix like a dong dong installation so that's one of the most uh, key features of PC and why it's so cool because it's available everywhere. How to use BC? Well, um, we type it just on the terminal BC and then it shows the copyright. We'll be here, we'll be using GNU BC, as you can see from the copyright, but it, there are other implementations of BC, of course. So um, we just type in the commands and you can get the results like 2 to the power of 89 minus 1 is uh, this huge number. Okay, so. That's uh, that's how you use PC. And then Control D to exit. Okay, so there are four special variables in PC, and they are uh, scale. Scale is the number of decimal digits after a decimal point. Uh, so after initially, by default, is only zero decimal cases, decimal places after the decimal point, which means that uh, calculations by default are integer only. Okay, this is very important to remember. Um, then uh, the E base is uh, the numerical base of the output, so it defaults to 10. Uh, so um, the O base is the number numerical base of the output, it defaults to 10 as well, but you can set it to 2 or to 16 to visualize the results in uh, hexadecimal or binary if you wish. And then the last variable, uh, called last actually, it contains the value of the last entry. So when you're doing calculations, you can uh, just set it. <coughs> Sorry, you can just set it to um, to the last uh, entry. So um, let's uh, exemplify here. Why is scale so important? Mm. We could set our scale to to zero, which is the default, and you can see here that uh, one over seven is zero. Integer only calculations, of course. But then, if you set the scale to ten. You can see that over 1 over 7 is not 0 anymore. This is very important and this is uh, we have to pay attention to this when you use PC because otherwise surprising results might happen. Now if your A base is 10, the input base by default is 10 of course and then uh, if you change it to, I don't know, let's say 16, then you get a... Uh, you get a... Um, see this address in binary. So um, now, math library, what do we have? Um, for the math library, you it's a collection of functions to use in BC and you use the option L to activate these functions and these functions are several so it's a sine, cosine, arctangent, natural logarithm um, then exponential function and Bessel function. So uh, you can use these functions with PC. They you just have to use the option L. Be careful though, because when you set the option L, uh, the default value of scale is set to 20. So be very careful, because of course the calculations are not integer only anymore. That will make a whole lot of difference. But also, uh, in this case, it's very bizarre. Uh, the five modulus three. In the, is equal to two as you'd expect in the integer mode calculations. Whereas in the, if you scale, scale to twenty, five modulus three is this uh, zero point zero 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 two, which is um, a bit of a surprise. So be careful with this uh, and possibly other pitfalls. Now BC can be invoked with using pipes. You get here uh, if you get an echo one seven and then pipe it to BC. Uh, option L, you can get this value here. 
uh, notice the 20 decimal places by default and then if you have a echo 2 to the power of 100 send it to BC without any option and then it, it just outputs this huge number which is 2 to the power of 100 quite quite a big number right okay so uh, BC can also invoke to with a redirection so you can redirect your results to a file and therefore it's uh, convenient to save your data um, what happens is your function is not defined. Well, in that case, um, you just have to write your own function. For example, the factorial. You can define your factorial using this uh, script. So it's a scripting uh, tool, BC. It's a language, programming language that allows scripting. So it's uh, you can define the factorial of 30 here. And then it gives you this huge number here, 265, whatever. It's a huge number. Um, factorial of 30. Um, now, fun fact, this is quite cool, GNU BC was actually ported to the Arduino platform and this is quite cool because the Arduino this is a microcontroller but it runs GNU BC and that's quite cool, I, I checked it out and it was super fast I managed to calculate a factorial of 100 that was so fun and I totally recommend downloading the GNU BC the link is down in the description box below Okay, so uh, I just want to thank you guys for uh, watching this uh, video and uh, also if you want more content uh, just please subscribe and like the video comment share um, because that helps uh, to grow the channel so thank you so much uh, for watching this video and see you next time bye